today I will be taking you on a journey with my series of poems titled Love Letters to Those Who Have Lived in Lack. And these are poems that I wrote during a very difficult time for us as a country and as a people. And like most of my work, they tackle um, politics of race, gender, class, basically all the burning issues in our nation at the moment. Three poems, three chapters that all lead to one common moral point. These are love letters to those who have lived in lack. There is a prayer for time and how tomorrow, today we'll make friends with yesterday and be absorbed in history. There is a prayer for our unconventional affinity to discard this history, never mind memories of read dances and things we lost in the fire, there is a prayer for the fire, for melting faces, a prayer for melting faces and the smoke my people have disguised as pixie dust sea fairies don't exist down here. We hold dearly our beloved addiction for destruction. There is a prayer for destruction. There is a prayer for decomposed black bodies disguised as drunken corpses filled with volatile voices. There is a prayer for burning homes and brown babies raised to indulge in self-hate and alterations because all we see are too many eulogies and not enough dissertations all we paint are too many walls of 50 shades of brown there is a prayer for 50 shades of brown and how they will only fall in love with the insides of your palms burn these monumental bodies and stretch them into coffins then stand in line to prove whose pain is worse there is a prayer for performance poverty and our sick aspirations for kumbayas and rainbows there is a prayer for kumbayas and rainbows there is a prayer for thunder thighs and brown eyes, a prayer for those who don't seize fire in an era where there is no space for a black child's face, there is a prayer for a black child's face and now it burns like hate and hot coal, there is a prayer for those who have fell in love with death, there is a prayer for death. I just don't know how it goes. There is a peculiar kind of rage that comes with being South African. On one day, it is the grass patch below the slithering scutum of a snake, and on the next, on the next, it's the snake. Here, in the mother of no lands, we wake up to hooting E-20s draped in dirt. The sun aligns itself with the sides of our sand-plastered homes. Dices roll. Politicians plot fake for polls, building pixie dust-coated walls for these internal threats of war. See, me and my country have always had an unusual relationship. This complicated covenant filled with constant fights and broken souls, at times we run. Bare foot, feet cracked above broken shoe soles because poverty has brought nothing but holes. These fired up skins feel nothing but the cold, so we can't let go. See, the shackles on our stories leave ruby-like scars cratered onto the joints of our arms, our palms. Barely grip the very tales that have left us numb. Our backs have grown as weak as water. Views gagged like stallions with bridles. We only know millions from fake councils. And, and fake wealth built through fake pipelines. They stole all our sunshine. 
plucked it out with million dollar smiles and golden daffodils. Our summers are now so sweet with solemn silence. The locutions that we so sadly want to set free have slowly become the death of our existence. Our very presence is open resistance. Our stories continue to remain defiant, so we can't be. We can't be because Because we can't. And so these streets will not mother you. Government medical aids will try to cover you, but the system will devour you, and we will no longer ample out straight tears before their self-confidence, before the earth is slung out of the sky, before they continue to defy their lies. See, we are still standing here, floundering in the cold, searching for what they stole. See, we are still standing here. Remember how we walked like warriors? How our skin was homebound, wrapped and tattered in stains of brown. Remember growing up to be kings? To wear heavy crowns and put weights of worlds on our shoulders. Remember the weights of worlds on our shoulders? How we thought the nights could never get colder and how we slept at the bars of their feet like prisoners. Remember the chains? Remember the reeds? And how our fathers were backpacked with shipwrecked spines and tired eyes, tired of being, how they became devoured black beings and how they went to war for you. Remember the war? Remember six-inch-long ammo belts? Remember parabellums? Remember gunpowder and smoke, bullet wounds and battlefields? Remember the number of soil sons who walked on fire? And how their street was styled in tear gas tears, gassed the skin south of their eyes. Can you hear them? Remember how they cried in bonfire and coal? And how their pain is what had kept us warm at night we bathed in their weeps. Remember stun grenades and burning faces? Remember stun grenades? And burning faces, hell, you forgot our faces are still burning. You forgot how voices like yours and mine were subjected to lies that looked beautiful. Remember how lies looked beautiful? How our hands were cigarette loose and how our mothers gave birth to graveyards, then colored us a spectacle. How we fought alone from womb to tomb. Remember how our backs were bent like crescent moons, that periodic amnesia and how they chose to remember and forget as they wish. I forgot how to wish. I forgot how they wished. I wish I forgot how to wish. I wish I forgot how to infiltrate spaces that break us into dust. I think I forgot my lines. But I remember where I wrote this poem. I remember how it felt. I remember how we sat in circles and sang songs of freedom coming tomorrow, only for tomorrow to be postponed. I remember buses being stoned and how sacred of an adventure that was. Remember how sacred of an adventure that was? Remember how they told us we had everything, but everything meant nothing if we still had many more morns to give in the presence of funerals. Remember how your tongue tasted like funerals? How your coffee was made up of liquid slag and infernos, the taste 
of a thousand soldiers on the tip of your tongue. Remember how it tasted like revolt? Remember revolt? And how they made us forget and how sometimes it is hard to remember how they concaved oceans from the walls of our mouths then told us to go back home and walk on land while they walked on water back home. There is no more land to walk on. Thank you.